Mashke Mulder led out on that opening lap. Great start from the Group Hens Mass Rider. Blanca Katavas in the second. Sanakant led away, but it was Anik van Alphen that was locked in the battle. The champion of Hungary dropped back. It then became a race between Anik van Alphen and Sanakant. Van Alphen went down. That handed Sanakant the lead, but the race was not over by any means. It wasn't. It was warm temperatures. You see Sonicon having, uh, having to get a little bit more airflow. It was very hot out there, almost 50 degrees Fahrenheit, almost 10 degrees Celsius as she comes through. Big gap there. And um, any Van Alphen chasing hard, though, never giving up. And it was this moment here. Sonicon coming in that high inside line, not able to execute it. Van Alphen realizing that she wasn't going to be able to ride it either. Decides she's going to get off and troop through, but then passes the world champ in a moment where she's just not got it all together. And um, Sonicon trying to open up the season to take that first victory, but Van Alphen using that technique that she's been honing over the last couple of years to be able to ride these barriers, gets in front of the world champion for the straightaway, world champion surges to the front, and Sana Kant takes out her first victory of the season, puts her name up on the boards, and is elated to be able to take the victory. Sana Kant takes that one from Annick Van Alphen. A good day again for the 20-year-old Dutch rider taking second spot on the podium. There's your top 10 here in St. Nicholas. Sana Kant from Annick Van Alphen, uh, Blanca Katavas with Don Schott, Verheistra and Sels, Roykus van der Steener, Van der Beken all in the top 10. In the elite men's race, Quentin Hermans led away with Matthew Van der Poel, Marcel Meissen, Jedenek Stieber, Tom Pidcock and Vinnie Bastians all well to the front it came down to a very select leading group but it was Tom Pidcock of Trinity Racing that looked to try and thin out the group dropped the big bomb on this section the only man that we've seen be able to ride this section for many years Vanderpool reacted he was not letting the British champion go yeah, and then it was Vanderpool that decided, I've had enough of that, but unfortunately, Quinton Hermans has a problem at that exact moment, opens up a gap, Vanderpool notices, decides he's going to put some pressure on the pedals, opens up a big gap, and then it's up to Hermans to try to close it down, unfortunately not able to, but Pidcock again, putting on a big show, riding this section again, I think he rode it three or even four times, comes through, takes time back, but not able to close the gap to Vanderpool, because Vanderpool had already ridden those sections as well, and won up him by putting down an attack in the sand as well as they come into this section which was the back side of the course in the forest We're seeing a nice shot here of Vanderpool's rear wheel as he rides that rut all the way to the finish line. Matthew Vanderpool is a second win there since uh, the driving cross last week after that winning streak was brought to an end Quentin Hermans uh, crossed the line in second place for Telenet Bauer's Lions and uh, Tom Pidcock rounded out the podium in third Bosman's Adam Stiebar Meiss and Bastian's Van Turen out of Voigt was your top 10 on what has been a great day's racing here in St. Nicholas on GCN Racing <laughs>